Hey friends, uh, I wanted to just give a word of encouragement uh, based on some reading uh, I was doing today. I was reading Sermon on the Mount, a well-known section and a well-known verse, but very timely for where we find ourselves as a culture and a nation. Uh, it says, uh, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Uh, as we look forward into the future and think about the implications of coronavirus, will I get the virus, will someone I, I love get the virus, how many people will get the virus, how many deaths will there be, a lot of anxiety uh, surrounds those future questions. And Jesus simply says here, do not be anxious. It's a command. And you might think to yourself, well, how? How can I not be anxious? I mean, I feel anxious. I can't just stop feeling anxious. Well. This is actually at the end of a long line of reasoning that Jesus gives. I didn't read the first word. It said, therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow. So what is the argument that has led up to this final conclusion, this final summary, climax of his argument where he says, do not be anxious? Well, clear back in verse 19, he begins the argument and he says, you can only have one master. You can't serve or be focused on or think about exclusively God and anything else, whether that be money or your job or your family or your health even. He says you have to choose. It's got to be God or something else. You can't serve two masters. Um, and so he says, because, and, and the natural conclusion is when you start to contemplate and consider uh, putting God in that number one spot, you think, well, am I going to have to, what about all these other things? What about my money? What about the food that I need? What if I just lost my job? How am I gonna provide for my family? Um, what about my health? And all these questions begin to surface. And you know how God answers them? He says, I already know you need all those things. The sparrows of the field are fed. The, the grass of the field is clothed, better than Solomon was ever clothed. God knows you need everything. He knows about your health better than you do. He knows about your financial needs better than you do and your family needs better than you do. And so he says, just trust me. And if you begin with God in that first position, trusting that he cares about all of your needs, then, verse 33, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. In other words, knowing God's in control, I'm going to seek him first. Seek him first. And when you do that, when you seek God first, it's at that moment that anxiety falls away. It's the very next verse. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. In other words, just focus today on what's right in front of you, what you can do today, and leave the rest to God. He knows, he's in control, and he loves you. So I just wanna leave you with that, um, that word of encouragement, uh, and hope to see you all in person uh, very, very soon in God's time.